The next thing we need to look at are the items that we set up in the prior presentations, because if I hit the plus button up top, we're gonna to be calculating the sales tax possibly when we create an invoice or the sales receipt. And the primary item that's gonna drive that just to open an invoice and take a look at it will be the item. The item is gonna be the thing that's gonna say, hey, is this thing subject to sales tax or not? So now we wanna go over to our items and look at them. So do, I'm gonna leave without saving. Do you want to leave without saving? I'm gonna say yes. And then I'm gonna go on over to my items, which is under the sales tab, you'll recall. If you're under the business view, it's under the get paid and pay tab, product and services items. And I'm gonna close up the hamburger and then scroll down. Now I think by default, it's gonna apply the sales tax. So if I go in, say to editing, an inventory item and I scroll down. Now we have this sales tax uh, item here. It says taxes standard rate uh, will apply sales tax based on location only. So you could go into this and add more detail. So they've got information in here so you, so you can browse uh, the item. But notice down here we have it as taxable based on location. So I'm gonna keep that as the default. And so I'm gonna say that's great. Let's go on to the service items then, which I think I'm gonna to have to adjust and remove the sales tax. I'm gonna say the service items will not be subject to the sales tax. So I'm gonna just edit the, the service items. This is pro why it probably in some ways might be easier to turn on the sales tax and then add your items. But I think it's easier to see what's happening with the sales tax by doing this way. So that's why we've done it this way. So we're gonna edit the sales tax and this one I'm gonna say is non-taxable. So I'm just gonna do this for all the service items so I've made that service item non-taxable, save it and close it. So that was this service item. I'm gonna do the same for this one, edit this service item. And I'm gonna say taxes and say that it's non-taxable and that and say done. And that's for the tuning. So I'm gonna save it and close it. And then the late fees, I'm gonna edit and go down to the taxes and say this is going to be non-taxable done save and close for the late fees this the service charge i'm going to edit and scroll down and say that it's going to be non-taxable save it and that's for the services so i'm going to save and close and then the hours i'm going to edit and say that it is non-taxable two more times non-taxable boom and then diagnostics edit and then i'm going to say that it is non-taxable for that item boom save it and then one more time on the hourly service non-taxable and there we have it so now the inventory items are taxable and i'm saying the service items are not taxable and so we should be able to see that when we make a sales item now so if i hit so let's go to the plus button up top and just add a test transaction. We won't record it, but just to test it out, let's open up an invoice. You can also do a sales receipt, but we'll just go with an invoice. We made up a mock customer, which we just called AAA. So I'm just gonna say the AAA customer just to test it out. And then we're gonna go down to the products. The products should be the taxable items. So I'm gonna choose say an ELP and you can see it has a checkbox automatically as it being a taxable item. Now, sometimes you have to like click off on the second line to make sure that it applies the tax properly down below. So now we've got a $500, that's what we charged for it. And then the sales tax is being applied. Notice being, it's being applied by location. Now the customer doesn't have a location up top. So therefore it's being applied by what we're saying is our sales location, which is the California location. And that's where it's coming up with this 47,550. You can look at the math related to it. If I go into here, how your sales tax is calculated, we've got the location based on where you sold your item. You need to collect sales tax here. So notice it's actually three things that, that we're collecting. The, the California rate, the Los Angeles County and the Los Angeles County district. And that adds up to that 9.5% on the sales tax that we're adding. So notice it gets a little bit complex and QuickBooks is actually quite nicely doing that for us. And it, the complexity will differ based on location, of course,